Hey everyone, it's AJ with Southpaw Creative. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be reviewing the Marco Renoir Fine Art 72 Color Pencils and I'm going to be telling you about the wrap that they sent me and it's very, very beautiful. <laughs> I just want to thank the people at Marco Renoir for uh, at the Marco Pencil Company for sending these out to me. And uh, they do not sponsor the episode, so this is going to be an honest review. Uh, you've got the wonderful tins here. The metal tin is wonderful. The plastic trays are not. <laughs> uh, but like I said before in the watercolor pencil review from Marco Renoir, uh, these plastic trays, a lot of uh, companies, even higher quality companies carry them. The only two companies that I've ever found that don't carry these in their pencil collections are Caram Dosh and Faber Castell. So you kind of got these flimsy little things right off the bat. However, the pencil wrap does take care of that. So it just all depends on how you want to work with your pencils. And so, yeah, it is a con, but it's not a super major issue unless you spill them. <laughs> so you definitely have a wide range of colors, which I'll show you with a color chart. So you've got on the second tray, you've got more natural colors, earth tones. You've got the brighter colors right on top. It comes with two sharpeners. And as you can see, I've got one of them that I've used already. And uh, I used them while I was doing the sketch, which I'll show you in just a second. And um, these have very sharp blades. They're very nice, a little handy. I like them because you'll always have a pencil sharpener nearby. And so I made out a color chart. And these are apparently oil-based pencils. So you've got plenty of different juicy colors here. And I'm sorry that it kind of goes a little slightly up. That's, that's a thing with left-handed folks like myself. Uh, you've got wonderful range of reds. You've got actually kind of um, cool shades of red, like number 38. You've got... Um, a nice warm shade of red in 31. You've got some more um, earth tones and some grays, some warm grays, some cool grays. Uh, I really like the fact that they got plenty of blues and turquoises in there because those are some of my favorite colors. And they're just nice, bright, vivid shades. And these are probably, um, the little blocks are probably about mm, three layers in, like I burnished them. Um, so you do have to, to layer them pretty well, but they do layer well. They really, the, the color lays down beautifully. So that's a pro. One of the cons is that they have color numbers and I'm not crazy about that. Um, that is another gripe of the watercolor pencils too. If you can get past that, that's fine. Uh, you know, I just think that artists themselves really like to identify colors by name because we're such visual people. And so whenever we say, oh, you know, I want the number 66, we would rather say, oh yeah, that's that that's the lime green or that's the bright green that I need. That's, you know, or you get what I'm saying. So as I was kind of, I had pre-recorded this and then I realized I had the time lapse on. That was real smart. Um, <laughs> but it looks like there's a slight film. I don't want to say, I don't know if that's a bloom or not, but these are supposed to be oil-based pencils. So if somebody can clarify with me, because I've, I've read where there's wax, like they're wax based or they're oil based, but whenever I was laying down the color, they did feel like oil. So then maybe this is just the reflection underneath the soft box actually, because um, the soft box is rather bright and I didn't notice that before. So maybe it's, I don't think it is a wax bloom. I think it's just the light reflection. So anyways, um, I really like the colors a lot and I love the fact that they feel high quality whenever you lay them down. They do feel like an artist pencil. They don't feel cheap at all. They feel wonderful and you can, the more you lay down the color, the more they feel high quality. Uh, here is a big no-no though. So for the folks who sent me this pencil collection, please listen to me. So we've got some of these colors that don't match their casings. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so number nine looks kind of like a shell pink, very, very pale. So pale that you can hardly see that, okay. On, whenever I put the, the color chart together, you can see that this is not even the same in value as the casing. The casing is way lighter, and this is more of a muted tone. So, eh, not cool. Let's see here. The, I, I just set aside the ones that were the most apparent to me. Number 37, okay. Um, number 37 is more of a moth in true form, but the casing is more of a uh, kind of a light violet 
and you can even see the difference in the pencil tip versus the casing. Here again, this is sort of like a muted color here, and this is to me more of like a maroon color. So um, I would really appreciate it if this was taken into consideration for the future quality control that the colors need to match the actual true pencil color, or at least get just as close as you can possibly get. Uh, because for some artists don't make color charts. And so if they're reaching for a specific color, they're gonna see those casings and they're gonna rely on that color to, to match the true color of the pencil. Now when they lay down that color and they don't get the color that they want, they're gonna be aggravated about it. So, and, and that's gonna reflect poorly. So to keep that in mind in the future, Marco. So one of the things that I'm gonna do is take the Mona Lisa odorless paint thinner and apply it with a brush because this is my favorite way to blend colored pencils and we'll see how it works out. So uh, let's get to it. So this is after I blended it, and it blended really well with the Mona Lisa Odorless Mineral Spirits, which is my favorite, like I said. And um, what's great about this is that once it's dry, um, you can go back over it and layer some more. The dress probably was about two or three layers. No, it was about three layers. And um, most of her hair was three different colors, and they blended really, really well. The, the reds are so especially vibrant, and I love that. And, uh, you know, I used several of the skin tone colors, which actually some of the earth tone colors are skin tone colors as well. They're kind of a dual purpose, which I like too. Um, like you've got 79 is kind of a raw sienna. 40 is kind of a burnt umber. You've got two of these, which are 75 and 70 that w would work well for a Caucasian. And uh, 42 is a nice mid-tone. So, <clears throat> or that could be... That could that actually could could work for African Americans as well, um, in different multicultural skin tones. So, I really you know I liked how that they laid down. Um, I like the fact that I didn't fatigue my hands very much whenever I was using these. So they do have very vibrant pigment to them. Oh, overall, I would give this collection. I'm just gonna go with. A 3.5 out of 5. Originally I was going to, you know, give it a 4 because there weren't too many things going on that um, I found too detracting until I realized how much these colors, couple of the colors were mismatched. 
Uh, it's not a lot of them, so the majority of them do actually come very close to their cedar casing sample colors. So that's a good thing. I think that if you are looking for something that is affordable and is of artist rank quality, these are a good option. So for those of you who have kind of voiced your opinion about some of the more expensive brands that I use, these are a great alternative if you're looking for something that's on a budget and will deliver results to you. As far as I know, they are light fast. I don't know how light fast they are. You can contact the Marco Renoir folks and see if you can get a, a light fast chart rating. I didn't see a light fast rating on the actual pencils themselves, so they don't, I don't know. Um, but I'm taking their word for it from what I've read. So that's that. Now, they sent me a pencil wrap, which is really amazing. I love. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 and I'll show you why. So this thing, see how pretty it is? It's got the name on there and it has a little tie here. And this holds 48. The only thing I can think of is if they have a 72, that would be nice for the 72 color pencils. These are the watercolor pencils that I put in here. So when the weather gets nicer, it's going to be really nice to take these out for fine air painting and for using as uh, a supplement to some of the watercolors that I use as well. It's made out of 100% cotton. No, I'm sorry, I lied. It is 60% linen and 40% cotton. You only wanna dry clean this if you have to wash it. And um, so that's kind of a bummer, but whatever. Um, chances are you may not really need to, to wash it that much. Here's a big bonus, is that in the case, they have a color chart. I didn't even know that that was there. So I'm gonna make a color chart out of this. And uh, I don't know of any other color, pencil wraps that I have that came with color charts, but you can fold it up, put it right here in this like nice little extra pocket for your pencil sharpener and your erasers, and maybe a, another sketch pencil or something. So that's pretty cool. Way to go, Marco Renoir. That's pretty awesome. I really like it. I like it a lot. In fact, I think it's it's much nicer than, than some of the um, nicer pencil wraps that I have. So this actually isn't, uh, this is a good option, and I like it, and it folds up very nicely. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, whether or not you want snaps on yours is up to you. This might be a little cumbersome to have to keep folding this up and tying the tie, but it's actually, uh, I think it's beneficial in the long run because if the snaps, if you have snaps that pop off or something while you're in your bag, that could potentially open the wrap up. So this is nice and keep it nice and tight. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd recommend carrying it like this, but that might wear out over time. But this is a, a nice quality pencil wrap and I highly suggest it. And it's affordable too. And so I will put links to these two products in the description below. And I have to say that I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what I've worked with. The big cons of the Marco Renoir color pencils and the watercolor pencils are mostly cosmetic. They're mostly things that can be fixed within the quality control in the factory. So uh, thank you for joining me today and I hope you have a great week. Keep creating and paint, draw, and open that third eye, everybody.